Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. NFL update for Sunday, November 8, 2020. Free pick between the Ravens and the Colts on this report. A whole lot of line movement in this game. We'll talk about that in just a moment. First quick note, got a great offer going on right now at DocSports.com. Going to read it to you here. It's good Saturday. It's good Sunday. It's good Monday. Then it expires on Monday evening. You can get 25% off any Docs Cappers $30 package, including mine, or you can get 25% off any Cappers $99 weekly package. And that can be mine, it can be anybody else's. You can use this more than once. You can get the daily 25% off and then get the $99 weekly 25% off. Whatever way you wanna use it, right? 25% off daily or weekly packages. And there is a code, a passcode to use. It is FB25, FB25. All right, so cool way uh, to jump on board the discount if you want to jump on board with the plays this weekend over at DocSports.com. Of course, you can go to my Handicappers homepage and check it all out. We got a big card going on this this weekend uh, college football NFL right through Monday night football I have a play in the Monday night game and uh, and so here's what's going on if you do happen to watch this video before noon Eastern 9 a.m. Pacific on Saturday then you can still get all of my weekend plays through Monday six plays in all if you're watching this afternoon Eastern 9 a.m. Pacific still got two more college football plays with the first one not starting till 6 p.m. Eastern so you can grab both the evening games and of course the NFL is all there until Sunday kickoff 1 o'clock Eastern and we've got two plays in Sunday's NFL, including my top play in the NFL this week. Plus, I do have Monday Night Football. So that's what's going on for me on the gridiron. And as far as everything else, I'm involved in NASCAR's season finale. They go on Sunday at Phoenix. I've got a six-star matchup play there. I think you'll like this matchup price. We're going to look to finish on a 50-25 and 25 NASCAR run uh, with this cup finale going on on Sunday. And then, of course, they don't come back until February's Daytona 500. So check that out. Also involved in UFC on Saturday night we have gone to one fight bet per card in the last seven weeks we're six and one up over thirty five hundred dollars we'll look to make it seven and one i've got one fight bet for saturday's ufc card it's a five-star play available on my handicap it's on page docsports.com i'm involved in soccer on saturday afternoon and gonna skip round three in the pga but we'll look to be back on sunday when we handicap sunday's card 28 and 15 is that current pga run all right, let's get to the free play for Sunday. Oh, real quick programming note. Check out my video, if you wish, with Rafael Esparza. We talk about the pros and Joes uh, for week nine, Sunday's NFL. We cut that on Friday afternoon. We're also going to have a free pick in that clash between the Saints and the Buccaneers. So it's pretty cool. We'll tell you where the Sharps are this week, where the public is this week. Public has held their own for the season. We'll talk more about that, plus that free play between Drew Brees and Tom Brady. All right, let's get to the free pick for Sunday. I am going to back Baltimore here. What a crazy bunch of line moves we've seen throughout the course of this week. Baltimore has been as much as a field goal favorite. They are now getting a point or pick them in just about every book. Listen, I'm not all that impressed with the Colts, man. That schedule, I should say. Give them credit that they've won five to seven games, but they did lose to Jacksonville. They did lose to Cleveland. Cleveland ran for a buck 24 on them. And then you look at the teams they beat. They beat Minnesota before Minnesota got on track. They beat the Jets. They beat the Bears with no offense. They beat Cincy. They beat Detroit. Those teams have a combined record of 12 wins and 21 losses straight up. Level of competition for Andy steps up this week. So that number two rush defense as far as yards rushing allowed per game, I think is a little bit questionable. And I do think Baltimore is going to be able to attack. And Baltimore is the number one rush team in all of the NFL so far this year. They average almost a buck 80 per game on the ground. And I know they lost their offensive left tackle last week, but I think it's going to be a case of next man up in this game. We're going to recommend a play on Baltimore. Listen, they dominated Pittsburgh statistically last week. They led by 10 at the half. They lost a couple of players at the end of the first half. They outgained Pittsburgh by 200 plus yards. They had two things that kept them from winning the game. Two empty trips in the red zone, that was the difference. Back Baltimore, that's what I'm going to recommend here. Basically a pick em situation, but you can find plus one also. Baltimore over the Colts on Sunday, and I'll be right back here late Sunday night, early Monday morning with my report for Monday, and we'll talk about all that happened over the weekend. Let's put the weekend in the win column. We'll talk to you Monday morning. Have a great one, guys.